Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial for the LSP Boho Swing digital background for Photoshop. This is a multi-layered Photoshop file. When you download from the website, open it up into Photoshop and you should be able to see your layers panel over here with these multiple layers in it. If you can't see the layers panel, come up here to window and choose layers. At the bottom, you have your base layer, which is the main swing layer. Above this, you have a blanket edit group. That's for this blanket just here that will go underneath baby when you place them. You can press the little arrow and open up the group. You have dark and blanket paint, bright and blanket, and blanket color, which you can use to change the color of this blanket. I'll talk you through that a little bit more um, in a little while when we've added the baby in. Above this, you have the background elements that you can turn on or off. That's the dream catcher and the moon. And you can open this group up. You can also add more texture if you want to. There's so many things in here for you to play with. Then you have a blank layer place baby here. You can copy and paste or place the baby in um, or drag and drop. They'll either appear in the blank layer here, which is ideal, or they'll appear just above it, in which case absolutely fine, makes no difference, um, but you can add a layer mask. I'll show you how to do that. And then above this, you have lace over the baby. That's this lace layer here. Um, that adds it just in front of the baby so that you have a little bit less masking to do. You can turn this one on or off if you want to, but I recommend leaving it on. So let's go ahead and drop the baby in. You can come up here to File, click on Place Embedded and locate your edited baby image on your computer. I recommend shooting baby on a light to neutral um, background. That's going to make editing a lot easier. So hit file, place embedded, and um, the baby image will be positioned in as a smart object. And don't worry if baby appears above the place baby here layer, that's absolutely fine, as long as it's roughly in place. If you're using the LSP digital background actions to apply the baby, you're going to find this a lot easier, um, but you can of course do it by hand. A little secret um, to adding the baby in is to take the opacity down a little bit on the baby layer. And that way you can position the baby image in um, exactly where you want it to show nice and snug um, before you hit enter. If it hasn't pasted in on the place baby here, that's absolutely fine. Just come down onto this little icon down the bottom, the rectangle with the circle in the middle to add a layer mask. And now you can mask baby, um, mask the background of baby using a black brush to paint the background away. Or you can invert the whole thing um, and paint in where the baby is. It's entirely up to you. I like to um, invert and paint the baby um, in, but for this tutorial, let's do it this way. Um, I like to try and show lots of different options um, when it comes to masking because Photoshop, there is no right or wrong way to do it. There's just so many different ways you could do it. You see, because in the layers panel, you have this lace over babe layer, that means um, that you don't have to mask the bottom of baby, you don't need to do any tricky masking. Because baby has shot in a similar kind of very pale background, I'm just going to leave the majority of that in, I think, um, on here, because you, you don't really need to get rid of that. So I'm just painting the baby in. And you can, of course, turn the lace above baby off and you can do your own masking. Um, you may decide you want to mask all the way down here. You might want to get rid of everything. It's entirely up to you. There's lots of different options when it comes to these um, LSP digital actions, um, digital backgrounds, sorry. Lots and lots of different options there. But I'm going to leave the lace above on. You just turn the little eye on and off to play with it. So now I'm going to mask around the edge of baby. If you're not using Creative Cloud, you can just grab um, a small, hard black brush and you can just come in. Just be very, very careful um, masking around the top of baby especially if you've shot baby on a slightly different colour background. Neutral always works really, really well. Um, try and match what you're shooting to the digital, because that's going to make your life a lot easier. And if not, just get in nice and close with the black brush and make sure you're removing all of the background. If you're on Creative Cloud, you can hit W um, on the board and come to the top to the Select Subject option. Sometimes it works really well, other times not so much, but I think it's done a pretty good job um, of selecting the subject. Go to Select Inverse, to mean, mean, that means everything else is selected apart from your subject. Click back on the layer mask and now you can use a black brush. And because the subject has kind of got the marching ants, it's protected. 
it means um, editing the background away is a lot easier. So just sweep it over, make sure you've got any spare um, areas there. Now I'm just zooming in a little bit close on the hair uh, with a white brush just to make sure we've got all the hair in. If you've got a particularly hairy baby um, with a fluffy head, you can control or command click on the mask to bring these marching ants back up again. Come up here to select and choose select a mask and that's going to open up this window for you. Choose the refine edge brush tool and sweep this around the edge of the hair and that will help you pick up any stray hairs if there are any. This baby doesn't really have too many so it's absolutely fine. And then back on your layer mask you can just paint those in. You can see it has picked up some of the little stray hairs there. And once you have your selection and babies in place, you can hit V if you want to on your keyboard and move the baby around. Just seen there's a little bit of masking I missed just there. So hit V on your keyboard, you can move baby, um, you position them a bit higher if you wanted to. I'm just going to paint a little bit more of the original background in to cover for that. If you've completely got baby cut out, you're going to need to paint your own shadows in underneath. Um, you can simply add a shadow layer underneath the baby. Or again, you can use the LSP, um, the digital background applicator actions. Adding the main baby editing layers will give you all of the layers that you need um, to edit the baby and make them match the digital. If you shot baby on a different colour um, blanket and you haven't added the blanket in and you wish to change the colour of the blanket underneath the baby, you can do that. Um, by opening up the blanket fix, turning this on and changing the colour. So if you shot baby on a blue blanket for example, you can turn that on and it will let me show you here, double click this one and you can see the blanket is changing colour. That will also be changing colour underneath the baby layer there too. So you can change the colour of the whole thing if you wanted to. And you can also turn these elements on or off. Turn that one off, turn the colour off. And you can add more texture too to the background if you wanted to. So that's how to use the LSP and the Boho Macrami Swing Digital Background PSD for Photoshop and that's available at www.lsp-actions.com. Um, really easy to use thanks for the masking and you can change the background elements too. So enjoy playing with that one and um, it's super fun. And I can't wait to see what you do with it. Don't forget to share in the LSP Actions Facebook group. That's um, Facebook forward slash groups forward slash Lemon Sky Actions. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.